traumatization of history. History trauma. <laughs> Just said traumatization of history. <laughs> <laughs> That was really funny. Hi guys. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. I'm Dwayne. And we are the Blended Family Marriage Coaches. If you're new here, that's who we are and what we do. Our tagline recently, and in fact it's written on the back of our book, is marriage is hard, but blended family marriages are harder. For sure. So many factors play into the fact that blended family marriages are harder. But for the best advice on your blended family marriage, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Click the link down below, ring the bell. Ding dong. So that way you're notified every time we come out with a new movie on Tuesday evenings, six o'clock PM Pacific Standard Time. Right. <laughs> Again, I always say for you that on the East Coast, you get to watch us right before you go to bed. Some of you watch us when you wake up in the morning, just watch us. Right. We don't care. Right. <laughs> and if you like this video, actually, you know, like, like this, this video, video. <laughs> <laughs> and on our channel we're not afraid to cover the hard topics right. we're not afraid to talk about things like boundaries and forgiveness and intimacy within your blended family marriage <laughs> so we're not going to brush this under the carpet either nope. false expectations <clears throat> about marriage are portrayed everywhere right we see it in hollywood mm. right right all the time <laughs> um the hallmark movies that's what they all are is all about romance and whatever and all these false expectations and what marriage should be you guys marriage is hard it is. it is a lot of work. It is worth it. It's a commitment in life mm -hmm. that is definitely worth it. it for sure. We believe in the scriptures and the scriptures tell us that man or woman is not to be alone and that we are, it's good for us to be married. It's good for us to have a spouse to do this life with, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. We did talk last week about a Disneyland marriage. And if you're thinking, what the heck is a Disneyland marriage? Go check out that video. I'll link it up above so that way you guys can check it out after this video is over. You guys, we did talk about how we encourage you to look at the good things in your marriage. Right. We talked <laughs> about that in our Disneyland video. And it's so important to always have a positive outlook on your marriage. Always look for the best and give your partner the benefit of the doubt. Mm, and right. again, we talk about that in great length in last week's video. But you guys, in reality, there is a lot of dynamics that play into this mm, blended family yeah. marriage that make it hard. And one of those dynamics is the different big relationships that are involved. Right. We always joke, and if you've ever seen any of our teachings, we always joke that in our family, we have in-laws ex-laws and even some outlaws <laughs> and that's so true we not only have like Dwayne and I's parents playing an influence in our mm -hmm. marriage we also have our ex-spouses or our children's other parents their parents playing a role their brothers and sisters right. the extended <clears throat> family just goes out forever and like it or not they all can can have an influence within mm, our yeah. home a lot of times they do they do but they um you know because before because they have an influence i'm sorry to right. speak over you because they have an influence on our children they have an influence on our home because right. those kids are a huge part of our family and of our home did you want to finish what you were well, gonna i was just gonna say you know before you know, before we were married, you know, they had that relationship with those aunts and uncles and, you know, grandparents, all those other family members. And that doesn't end just because the marriage between you and, you know, their um, husband or their, their mother, mother or father. Or father yeah. Right. So that that plays a really big role and those relationships uh, do continue. And that's one of the mm -hmm. unique dynamics that right. us in a blended family have to deal with. I right. hate to say that, but we really have to learn <laughs> yeah, to manage do. and deal with right. that. Um, I have two tips on how to do that. One of them is set really strong boundaries. We right. have several videos on that if you want to check it out, but set really strong boundaries boundaries within your blended family. And the other tip for that is to always refer to those different relationships, how they how they relate to your children. So an example that I always use, I still have a relationship with my ex-husband's sister. Right. So that would be my ex-sister-in-law, which sounds so <laughs> weird. So I never refer to her as that. Instead, she's my kids' aunt because right. that's really the relationship that's valid. Mm, right. That's really the relationship that needs to be nurtured. That's really the relationship that's the most important. And it takes kind of the icky, yucky ex this or that away right, from right. it so it doesn't make other people that you're interacting with um uncomfortable right. in any way mm, so I the agree. two ways to really manage that the first one is so important set strong healthy boundaries mm -hmm. and the second one is refer to those strange ex relationships that are still having an influence in your home refer to them how they're related to your kids so like my ex in-laws are still my kids as grandparents right. there's no exes involved they're still my kids as grandparents right. just the same with Dwayne's side of the family his ex-in-laws 
are still the kids' aunts, uncles, whatever. Do you have any of those weird family dynamics <laughs> in your life where, like, if you are with this person, you really don't even know how to introduce them, or when you're ex describing the person, I always go back to my ex-sister-in-law, and I say it awkwardly like that because I'm trying to drive the point home. You know, it's so weird and when I try to describe her. Oh, I know her. She's my ex sister-in-law when really she's still the aunt to my kids so right. do you guys have those any weird dynamics like that that you feel like how do I even introduce or talk about this person let us know in the comments below how many different influences are in your home because you are a blended a blended family dynamic another thing that's unique in our blended family dynamics is the history there um in by nature of a blended family, there's often divorce in the history. And if there's not, there might be even a death, which all of that is traumatic. Right. It's traumatic not only to the spouses, but also to the children in the family. And there's so much healing that needs to happen there. And we've noticed that a lot of times that healing doesn't happen before the second marriage. Mm, right. That's fine. But you still need to go through the, the process of forgiveness and of healing and of recognizing where... Trauma might be an experience that you haven't really worked through or that the kids haven't really worked through. So that's why some of the behaviors are challenging. Again, these are not typically things that happen in a nuclear family. Mm, right. So it's what makes a blended family marriage harder. Those unique dynamics. You know, you don't hear in a nuclear family, well, my ex-husband never did it that way. Right. Whether <laughs> it's right or wrong, whether they're saying... Whether they're saying he never did it that way and I hated him for it, or they're saying he never did it that way and I'm mad at you for it, it still is something that, that a nuclear family, an original marriage, won't bring to the table. So that's another issue that brings um, a conflict. challenge and yeah, conflict, conflict to a blended family marriage. And it's so real. We see it all the time when we're helping people. You know, you really need to work through the forgiveness here. And once they're able to work through the forgiveness, it's like, okay, now we can move on from here. Right. But until they really work through and pinpoint what kind of baggage and stuff they're bringing from their history, they're just kind of stuck where they're at. And that's where we find so much trouble in a blended family marriage. Right. So a word that you don't hear in a traditional nuclear marriage where you don't bring other children into the marriage where there's not a past history of trauma or divorce or you don't have all those influences of the ex's family in your home is co-parenting. When you have a relationship with your husband and you and your husband have a baby together, you don't talk about co-parenting that child. You talk about parenting that child. But in a blended family, co-parenting is like... That's the that's the verb that you right. use when you're talking about raising the kids in the blended family. And that is the final reason that we want... Well, there's so many more. That's the <laughs> final reason that we want to talk about why blended family marriages are so much harder. I have done videos on nacho parenting. I will put those in the link below. There are so many different ways that people think that they can manage this co-parenting dynamic and like even big movements like the nacho parenting <laughs> mm -hmm. movement has come about because of it and it's harmful and it's hard and it's hard on the kids not the nacho parenting method i have my opinions on that again the video will be linked below and i'm actually doing a podcast with the founder of the nacho parenting method this afternoon it'll be released sometime next week but I'm interviewing with her this afternoon just to talk about, you know, the different dynamic in a blended family. Right. And that makes the marriage so much harder, you guys. Having to parent with people that are not a part of your home, that's not a part of your marriage, having to figure out how to do this life in the best interest of the children, but at the same time protecting your marriage, that is hard stuff. And that is this that is the final thing that we're going to talk about and how and why blended family marriages are harder than traditional right. marriages. Um, the biggest thing with co-parenting that I tell everybody is set strong boundaries. Right. Know what is important in your home and remember that you can only affect what happens in your four walls. You guys, we love to talk more about this. We love to help blended family marriages get through these challenges and through these struggles. In fact, it's what we do as the blended right. family marriage coach. If you guys want to know if you're eligible for our blended family marriage enrichment program, please click the link below. Um, schedule a discovery call with us. We don't accept anybody into this course. Right. So we'll see if you're a good fit for us, as well as if we're a good fit for you. You guys, we love to help people through these challenges. So mm -hmm. if you're having these challenges, please click the link below right. and Reach we can out. just talk about it. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not in the place where you want to take our enrichment course, we can still just talk about some of the issues that you're facing if you want to click that link below. Thank you guys so much for watching us today. We have all of our socials in the description box below so you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all of the places that we have taken up this 
little interweb spaces. Right. <laughs> so make sure to click those links below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, then like this video right. and ring the bell. Ding dong. So that way you can you will not miss one of our videos that we post every Tuesday. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Amon. Laughing about traumatization of history. <laughs>